Marriage. All right, babe. It's the marriage moment here. It's not a minute, but it's a moment here. And uh, this is a very important one, keeping with the theme and ending the show off with this of forgiving. And uh, in marriage, this is huge. It is huge. Probably, I mean, I think if there's one thing that you can learn to do well in marriage that's going to make you have a long and happy marriage, it'd be to learn to forgive learn and, to, to, forgive. and to have grace. I mean, well, those... yeah, absolutely. I think that goes hand in hand, grace, forgiveness, mercy, all those things. And in goodwill, I think that yeah. starts off, I mean, the, the first offense that you have is goodwill goes out the door. Like, mm-hmm. Well, she's an enemy. Well, why do you assume that? Why do you assume the worst? Why yeah. don't you assume the good first? Are we that negative of people? You know, may, you know, like if you did something that annoyed me, which never happens, but uh, if you did, and um, and it's usually my fault, but if you if you annoyed me or something, why would I immediately go to she did this on purpose to annoy me? Yeah. You know, instead of like okay. I don't know why she did this, but let's talk about it because it, it hurts me. I, I want, you know, we, misunder- we, we misunderstood each other or something, yeah. but we, we're so quick to go to the negative and assume that they're enemies. Now, maybe at, at some point in your marriage, it switches and you are enemies. <laughs> and if you are there, uh, then you need some help, obviously. But why do we assume that they're enemies instead of having goodwill toward them and, and assuming that they still want our good? It's just yeah. we, we have a mix up here or whatever. So that's where grace, forgiveness comes in. Forgiveness is at the heart of a lot of the breakups that we see. Now, you can you can go to all these websites, and we have, and we've checked these out, and of reasons why women get divorced and why men get divorced. And and they'll cite some things. Some The guys are usually a little bit less um, spiritual. You know, they're like, eh, she doesn't look as good, you know, or I found another 20-year-old. And and the uh, the ladies will be like, because he just doesn't love me anymore. He doesn't care. He doesn't show, doesn't spend time, doesn't, you know, the, he abuses me, you know, or mm-hmm. he's verbally abusive or something like that. And, and, and so the girls are a little bit more, uh, have a better reasons usually. And they're not good reasons say, at all. I don't know if there's really better reasons, but okay, right. I see what you're saying. Uh, where am I going with that? <laughs> <laughs> that the, um, uh, you know, that you look at the reasons on online and all these stats of why people get divorced. That is part of it. But I think at the heart of it is unforgiveness. Yeah. Is yeah. I won't forgive you. I, I come to that place where I said, I can't forgive you anymore yeah. for whatever it is, for not helping out in the kitchen, for not helping with the kids, for looking Doesn't at other matter. women, you know, for going out on me, for, for spending the money recklessly. I just, I, I can't forgive you anymore. I have to have pleasure in this world at some point. Yeah. And, um, un- unforgiveness in a marriage will absolutely destroy a marriage. It's a cancer. It'll eat away yep. and just becomes worse and worse and worse. And, you know, and that goes for, you know, when, when we think about unforgiveness, you think about, well, if your husband cheats on you or does any of those things, but it's even in the little things, it's little right, irritations right. that, you know, you just roll your eyes and whatever, whatever, whatever. And eventually those things just grow into bigger and bigger. It just, it just doesn't go away. No. So it's really, I mean, and if you find it hard to forgive your spouse, I feel like, again, you have to Look at what you've been forgiven. Look right. at what God's done for you. And when you realize that, when you realize all the forgiveness that I've been given, that He's washed away my sin, that He set me free, when, when I realize all of that, all of a sudden, it's really not hard to forgive. No, it's, it shouldn't be. Now, it still hurts. There's yeah. still pain, you know. Yeah. But uh, especially if it's something like adultery, right. I'm, I'm sure that would be painful. But at the heart of it, and by the time you get there, you know, a lot of people always pointed out, to, to that, you know, uh, you know, adultery, you know, what if, what if your, your husband cheats on you? And I'm like, well, if you get to that point, there's been a long string of unforgiveness probably and ignoring each other and a lot of other issues, but you don't just wake up one morning and be like, wow, I have a perfect marriage, uh, a perfect wife, perfect husband, and I'm going to go out on them today. It doesn't work that way. It's a, it's a slow fade. You, you work your way that way. And a lot of it is just little forgiveness here, a little grace, a little mercy and extending goodwill here and, and all that. And it doesn't, it stops at some point and you just get tired. And just like we talked about earlier, the verse 70 times seven, yeah. it, it does get tiring forgiving. You're like, they really don't understand. They don't get it. Yeah, That doesn't justify it. 
It doesn't no. justify you not forgiving just because they're a knucklehead and, and don't get it, <laughs> uh, women out there, because guys are knuckleheads. Uh, you know, just because we don't get it, we're thick in the head and uh, we don't understand these things, um, or because we're not perfect. You know, a lot of ladies yeah. are expecting a perfect man. Well, that's why you got saved. You got Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm not your savior. You know, yeah. I know the Bible says I'm to act like your savior, right. but I am not your savior. You mm-hmm. know, I am I am definitely not that. And uh, we're both looking for for the savior. So yeah, unforgiveness and no grace and no mercy in a marriage is no marriage. Yeah. It's going to soon end. Uh, there, there's no doubt about that. Or you're going to live together in such bitterness yep. and, and such hostility that yep. uh, everyone looks around and goes, how are they still together? And uh, so grace in a marriage is extremely important. Forgiveness, it's just yeah. going to happen. I know you talk to some young couples and everything's perfect, right? Oh, no, they could never do anything wrong. Mm-hmm. You, 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 Things creep in, man, where you just... you take things the wrong way even. It doesn't have to be sin. It could just be a misunderstanding right. or a frustration. You've had a frustrating day at work. You come home and there's a frustrating issue and you just snap and then she gets hurt. And not that this has happened in, in my life at all, <laughs> but you know, you just, you might say something short or just, uh, you know, you snap at her and she's like, she tried all day. You've tried all day to do something and now you're crushed and, and, I'm, and I don't care, you know, cause I'm just, I'm venting and I have a right to event, right? Uh, no, you don't. But at that point, you have to be willing to forgive me and, and understand, yeah. and give me grace. And then when you come to me, I have to be gracious and humble myself and be like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I made a mistake and you know, whatever. But we need forgiveness in marriage. Absolutely. This is the closest yeah. relationship that most people are going to have. There should be at yeah, least. Should be. <laughs> and you're going to expose a lot of things in your closest relationship. Like we were saying earlier, a, a person that just flips you off on the uh, on the road and you don't know, it's not personal. If you do that to me, it's very personal. Yeah. And we have to deal with that. But it hurts more when it's a close relationship. So we, that's why we have to figure this out. If we can't figure out our marriage issues, we're not going to figure out anything else. Yeah. Our other it, relationships are all going to tank too. It is the hardest relationship to have forgiveness because we are so we are so close right. and that's how it is and so the closest people to you are the ones who can hurt you the most and the deepest and the you know even if it's not as bad of a crime right. maybe as somebody who's you know more distant from me but since we're so close it's going to hurt worse and it's going to be harder for me to forgive absolutely and, and someone asked me one time like why do we do that and i'm like because it's not that we mean it all the time but you know i've studied people and 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 where they where they're at but it's it's I know where you hurt the most. What, what's going to yeah. so I can go right there, yeah. and I, it may not even be true, but I know it's going to hurt you because you just hurt me. So I'm going to hurt you back. Does that yeah. sound Christian? Not at all. Nope. No, it doesn't sound Christian. And then what are you going to do? You know where I hurt, so you hit me right where it hurts, and then the cycle just goes right from right there, and then it turns into an ugly fight, and that's why it happens. It's not that we necessarily mean these things. We just know what's going to hurt. All we yeah. know is we've been hit. We've been punched. So our initial reaction is someone punched me. I want to punch back. Yeah. And and when you do that, it's like, oh, it's just a reactionary thing. And you didn't realize, oh, I just punched a 6'4", 250 guy, and now I'm dead. You know. <laughs> but it's, uh, um, no, our, our first reaction should be like what Jesus said, to turn the other cheek, yeah. to, to ex, uh, extend grace, extend yeah. mercy, extend forgiveness. So I think that's the big thing. 